So we're going to use the tap. The tap is going to clean up any threads, like right here, a chain guard went here, bike got painted, uh, threads got some overspray, just that little bit of, whether it's dust or dry paint, that's going to give you a hard time trying to get your screw back in there. If you try and force it, um, or if you're impatient, you could actually um, mess up the threads uh, because of all that dirt. You're going to come in crooked, you're going to start stripping either the screw or these threads. These threads. You don't want to screw these up, but there is some cleaning up we can do. Um, if you mess up the first thread or two, we can still use our thread or a tap here to clean that up. These are designed to clean up any situations where the first couple threads are messed up. It's tapered, so it's going to go in, bypass the messed up threads, and then it's going to catch on to some good threads and then go ahead and clean it up. And that can be pretty common you know, when you're trying to get something started. But chain guards go in here, so screw here, screw right over here, so this got overspray as well. This size, I'll go ahead and print this down, but we're going to come in straight, so screws this direction. Most important thing is to come in completely straight, handle this with the most gentlest fingers. If you had to work and do a repair on a butterfly wing, that's what you're going to try and attack this with. So we're just coming in straight. I made a guy put my finger here real gently, so um, that's probably the biggest problem. You think you're in straight, but you're actually angled up, you're angled down, you're actually side to side. So if you got to get another pair of eyes, someone watching you, kind of trying to line that up. Um, but the taper should help you catch. And then we're just turning very gently, just fingertips, and then I'm going to hold that position with this hand, do another turn, until I start to feel something kind of grab where maybe the tool starts to hold itself. And then you can kind of stand back. As long as your tool's not too heavy, you don't want this to plop right out. Everything's pretty light here. I got a pretty good grab. And you want to feel consistent pressure. You're going to feel resistance. Anytime it starts getting tighter, tighter and tighter, and you feel yourself using more and more pressure, then you want to put on the brakes. Make sure that you're going in straight. Make sure that the tap is the correct thread pitch. But once you start putting a little more pressure, right now I'm starting to see some debris come out. And you know you got a good catch. Again, just light resistance, start to see a little debris. So I'm going to give it a turn, half turn, once I know I'm in there, and I'm going to back out. Maybe that half turn, quarter turn. What that's going to do is it's going to pull out any debris or crud that's getting in there. And then when you go back, that's going to be light. Boom, and you're going to meet where you stopped. You're going to feel resistance. Back it out. It's kind of like just taking dirt out of a hole, getting it out of the way. You don't want it to stay in there and kind of recirculate. And then I'm going to run this through until I know I got all these good threads onto the other side. And I'm almost there. I got the tip off the other side, but the tip is tapered. Just kind of give it a turn, back off, turn, back off. Yeah, and this is rolling pretty good. So I've got the, all the tip, the tapered portion is out. I'm starting to get the solid thickness of this tool coming through. So I'm done. Um, because this was just paint, um, I didn't use any oil. But if you had some threads that got compromised, metal then we're going to use some cutting oil or if you don't have that chain lube would probably work just something to lubricate it protect your tool and uh, give you an easier time cutting through those bad threads so what you're doing you're whether you're you're cleaning it up you're getting dirt debris paint um, or trying to re redo this this metal thread inside there you are going to be removing metal or debris so don't do this unless you absolutely have to. You don't want to make this hole um, bigger by removing that excess metal or material um, just, just for the heck of it. Um, then you'll have a bad, bad fit. You're good to go. Didn't show you earlier, but there was green paint inside there. Now we're seeing silver uh, right inside that hole.